Galactic Standard Date Year 11356 Day 87 Soul Standard Date 3 30 32 67 Saram was slightly apprehensive at getting his mind read, but Jason had assured him it would be easy, so he just sat down in the middle of the room and closed his eyes. Jason pulled out a device that looked almost like a gun and put it to Saran's head, waiting. Then the dimly lit cargo bay burst into life as a floor was created that resembled a wood native to the Ateni home world. Moving on the walls were being made of the same material on into the ceiling, being made of a similar wood with a green colour. His bed came next with extravagant silks and ornate embroidery complete with silken drapes. It almost looked as if it came straight from a fairy tale. Next to be made was a bathroom that contained only a toilet and a wooden bath. Along the wall was an augmented reality PC, complete with full VR immersion setup. Then, his room was complete. Saran opened his eyes and he almost cried tears of joy as he leapt towards his bed and buried his head into the silks before sighing. You Terrans really can do anything. Your tamar wood and ginger silks are native to my home, but I can't even tell that they were fabricated, he said. Jason shrugged his shoulders. Of course you can't. These literally came from your own memory, even if these aren't exactly like your native materials. They're just as you remember them being, he said, before turning to the other two. You two are up next. Just go sit in an empty part of the cargo bay and I'll get started, he said. Jason followed Falfan to his dim corner, while the rest stayed behind in Saran's room and got work creating Falfan's new home. Volfant's room was set up much the same, however his bed seemed significantly less posh, and he had the addition of a workbench in place of a VR suite. Jason noted the workbench and decided to ask, You in engineering? he asked. Valfan nodded and looked up to Jason. I may be an engineer same as you, but you are far greater than Ohio, masterful one. Before meeting any of you, I could not have even fathomed any of this. You've opened my eyes to the light of true engineering he said. Jason flushed red. Thanks, I guess. We aren't that great in my opinion, but it's nice being complimented, he said, as they left the room to go see Valenthe's set up. Jason and Valtha made their way to Valenthe only to see her practically vibrating in excitement after seeing Saran's room created. Jason started the setup of Valenthe's room, seeing a much more drastic change. The flooring was still a ton of wood, but the walls were made of good old-fashioned steel, though it was matte black, with the ceiling going back to a tunnel wood. Then, a punching bag came up in the middle of the room, along with several other pieces of equipment that looked like they belonged in the Xeno Fight Club. Then, off in the corner, he saw it. Jason watched in awe as a fucking hamster wheel was being built into the corner. It took every fibre of his being to focus on tuning the nanites, rather than dying of laughter at the sheer absurdity of this situation. A five foot tall hamster wheel, that a bipedal mouse was going to be using. Jason barely managed to finish creating the bed and bathroom that also looked incredibly spartan before busting out and laughing his ass off. Valenfi just cocked her head and stared in wonderment as the Terran doubled over on the floor laughing so hard he was crying. What seems to be the matter, Mr. Jason? Are you alright? She asked honestly. Catherine walked in to see what all the commotion was only to see Jason pointing at a giant hamster wheel while laughing himself to death. She looked at the hamster wheel and about five seconds later it dawned on her and she just let out a Oh my gosh, that's so fucking cute! She said as she ran over to Valenthe to bring her in for petting. Valenthe and Valtham were both absolutely lost. How was the sprinter's wheel causing such a reaction in the Terrans? Did it contain special properties? What the actual fuck was going on? Valenthe's stomach growled just before Catherine picked her up, and Catherine's face contorted to a look of terror. Oh my shit, I forgot, you all need to eat. Sorry, 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 she said, as she scooped up Valenthe and Volfan, before flying out of the room to grab Soran. Jason stopped laughing for all of two seconds to watch before the tears rolled out once more. Will Jason ever be able to stop laughing? To this day, nobody knows. Catherine sung into Soran's room, moving Valenthe and Volfone to the same mum before scooping Saran up into the newly freed arm, only to wordlessly sprint out the door and down the hall. Jeff and Alan just stared in confusion as she came in and left as if the ship was being destroyed. Then they screamed, FUCK! 
and chased after the fleeting form of Catherine.